Okay, good morning everyone. Um, we are going to experiment how the snails are going to respond to this purple. So as you can see, I have taken out the seeds. This is the, the other half of the purple fruit. The last time I introduced the overripe purple, I realized they ate it, yes, but I realized it attracted some ants into the snow pen. So now I'm giving them somewhat ripe, somewhat unripe. Yeah, it has just started uh, getting ripe, so not fully ripe. So we are going to introduce this one to the pen and we are going to see how they are going to fare, how they are going to respond to, to this type of uh, uh, purple fruit also. So what we do is we take out the seed, we take out the seed completely. As I have done to the other one, we take out the seed. Because at night, the snows come from different angles so that uh, each one coming from whichever angle can have a piece of it at any corner where they will start and do so now basically yeah this is what we have in this form or you can make it a little bit slimmer so that we introduce it, introduce it into the pan at various uh, points now by the time we come back we are going to observe the purple fruit that we put in here okay so that uh, we will know if they have eaten it we are going to find out by observing the fruit that we put in here all right so yes uh, again we are going to slide this Again, this is what we have yeah you can see so we are introducing them at various points various points you understand so that uh, whoever is coming from whichever angle and have a piece that just spread it across you can also cut them in pieces like this in this form you can also cut them in pieces like this and um like this you can also spread them So yeah, so let me bring a few and also cut them. And spread.
before I go on, um, I'd like you to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay. Okay. So, this is what I was talking of. You can see the ride from this end. They are having a good time with Popo fruits. Look at that. Look at this guy. You see this guy too? Coming out from under the banana leaves. You see them? This is why they come from across the entire hen. So far, this one is the only one I have found searching for something else. There is, uh, I think, a tomato under the cocoyam leaf and all of them couldn't this guy is stuck with the pawpaw fruit this one is also digging at something under the coconut cocoyam leaf See that small guy there. This is why you have to spread. Spread your feed all over your pen so that from whichever angle they are coming, they can. This guy, it's buried itself in the soil and at night. You see how wide. He stretch itself just to have a, a share of the delicacy provided them. So this is one of my baby snow that uh, that we just hatched. The one out of the two, one of the two baby snows that we just hatched climbing on top of the bigger one see you can see this guy is actually eating you can see from the side of the popo it is actually grabbing having a good time with these the popo fruit so so far in my experience apart from cocoyam leaves i think this guy love this popo fruit much better you can see this guy is also gradually gradually Consuming this uh, pop up, pop up from this end. Look at this one. Look at this one. Look at this one. Guys, snails love pop up fruits. Snails love pop up fruits. Look. All four of these guys are attacking the same fruit from different angles so you can see they love purple fruits at least for now it is confirmed see. from that side having a good time with the purple fruit yeah <laughs> so yes they love purple fruits
this guy's love for profit. Uh, someone is yet is on his way, uh, trying to find its way to the open space where it's confined. Another guy is just coming out of the of the plantain leaves or the banana leaves. See, they all here to feed. They are all here. They are actually out to feed. Mm. It looks like I'm gonna have to be putting the fruits uh, at this corner so all of them can come out fully for us to see. You see, this one is hiding under the leaves with only the mouth coming out to consume. You see this guy? Yeah. Meanwhile, this one is so, so busy having a good time. Look at how wide it's stretched. Okay guys, um, good morning. We are here to find out whether our purple fruit were consumed by the snows. These guys, first of all, look at this. They chopped it. They ate the purple fruit. Look at this side. Look at the at its halfway, even the other side that was uh, on the ground. Okay, you see, this piece of fruit is consumed halfway. And you can see from here, this one, this one is also see from this side. See? So they love purple fruits, man. These guys love purple fruits. Look at, look at, look at all of this and they at it. All of this, okay. Look at this one from here. So, yeah, this one still has some portion that were left. You see, you see how we chopped it? We chopped, we chopped the purple fruit in this sizes. Now, this is what is left. The guys love purple fruit. The guys love purple fruit. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And also press the notification bell for more updates. We are learning about the snail, their behavior. See, this one also. They act it from here. And also this part, this part has been consumed. This part there. You see. We are learning about these snails. What they like and what they do not like. As for our um Okoyam leaf, they left it. <laughs> uh, I mean it it's been there for a while so it's beginning to dry up. I believe that's why they did not. They are they are, have stopped consuming the cocoyam tree, uh, cocoyam leaf. Okay, so I will have to.
change it or introduce fresh ones inside. So everything they they eat papa fruit, they eat uh, cocoa yam leaf, they eat papa leaf too. So with the papa they eat both the leaves and the fruits with cocoa yam. They eat the leaf. I'm not too sure about the cocoa yam uh tuber stuff. I don't know. One day we might have to try that one too. So it's morning. All of them are hiding under the banana leaves. Okay. That's where they, they go and hide during the day. And they come out at night to eat. So... That is it. You can go ahead and feed your snail with pop off fruits and also the pop off leaf. You can go ahead and feed your snails with both the leaf and the fruits. I need to change this water, it's quite dirty. I will I will later on bring in I will later on put uh, new fresh water in there okay I don't know about whether or not they drink water but I just decided to put water in there <laughs> okay so yes that is it <laughs> thank you and have a wonderful day. Please, once again, do like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Press the notification bell for new updates. And uh, please, let me have your comment in the comment section. Whatever you have noticed, uh, kindly bring it to our attention. And uh, let's also know what you are doing so that we can learn from you as well. Please, this is very important to me. I'm a beginner. I'm learning just like uh, most of us on the channel too. On YouTube, sorry. Just as most of us on YouTube are also learning, I'm also here to learn and to share my experience with other viewers okay so yeah they like popo fruits right you can go ahead and feed them with your popo fruits and the leaves as well so thank you have a wonderful day it's morning here <laughs>